Hello and welcome to the Ethical Hacking and Penetration Testing course brought to you by Edionix. This course will cover um, everything in the syllabus that's required for the Certified Ethical Hacking uh, qualification, which is um, which is an EC Council uh, Ethical Hacking and Countermeasures course, um, except we'll cover a much more kind of practical approach to penetration testing and we'll try and give uh, as many um, real world examples as well um, as, as to how these skills can be applied to uh, you being at home, you being at work, you doing whatever you're doing with your hopefully with your your, your white hat on um, and then it should with, with some other exam guides and some more preparation there should be everything you need to actually pass the certified ethical hacker which is up to version 8 now that was brought out I believe at the end of 2014 if you know your stuff, it's not a difficult exam, um, so if you can grab a cup of coffee, we'll start. So these are going to be the chapters. Uh, introduction uh, to ethical hacking and penetration testing. Real world information gathering. Scanning and vulnerability assessment. Network attacking techniques. Desktop hacking techniques. Web exploitation techniques. Wireless network security. The good old metasploit. And how not to get caught. Detection evasion. So in the first chapter, um, we'll cover what is ethical hacking and can hacking actually be ethical? Types of hackers, hacktivism, which is probably something that you are most likely to see in the news, uh, computer crimes and legalities, penetration testing types, uh, and also a practical environment setup. So you can hopefully follow along everything that I'm going to go through in the course um, on your own tests, rigs or environments at home. We're going to try and keep the course as, as easy going as possible, lots of practical demonstrations, just to prove that it's, it's not all just theory and you really don't have to be a genius to do some of the techniques here. Now, under real world information gathering, this is probably one of the most important chapters. Um, it, it's research, it, it's knowing your target before um, you actually go and do any kind of attack. There's going to be uh, information intelligence techniques, footprint and reconnaissance, uh, organization of information during the penetration test, social media websites, fantastic we had to get information, uh, harvesting company emails, using Multigo for information gathering, uh, search, search engines for uh, penetration testers and how can you use them to your advantage, uh, using WhatWeb, HTTP Recon and SSL Scan. Uh, IP address geolocation, which is um, basically getting an idea of where this particular IP address is located in the world and plotting it on a map. Web application uh, firewall detection, HTTP and DNS load balancer detection, DNS enumeration for penetration testers, mail server enumeration for pen testers, and the good old DNS and who is lookup. After that, we'll be moving on to scanning and vulnerability assessment. Packet crafting with SCAPI, and that's pulling apart TCP, UDP packets, doing things to them, changing things, and sending them on the way. Um, all, the, all the things that your everyday applications wouldn't want us to do, we'll show you how to do it. Port scanning with SCAPI, network enumeration and mapping techniques, network scanning techniques, vulnerability identification and assessments, and some practical avoidance techniques as well. Network attacking techniques section we're going to be covering uh, password cracking, man in the middle attacks, it's that good old thing of uh, somebody sitting in an internet cafe, you think you're connecting to this Wi-Fi hotspot that says um, free internet when really it's somebody with a black hat on capturing all your passwords that you type into different websites. Sniffing SSL, what information can we get about this magical protocol that secures all of our internet banking? Remote desktop protocol attacks. Now, under desktop hacking techniques, we'll be um, assessing the security of Windows and Linux. Um, we'll be looking at Trojans, backdoor viruses and worms. We'll also be uh, doing some practical demonstrations on hacking Windows, hacking Linux, as well as some data mining. What you do after exploitation, so post-exploitation, and we'll be pulling apart some malware as well, just to have a look at it. Under web exploitation, we'll be looking at web application architecture, web application scanning and mapping, 
password attacks, web testing tools, um, SQL injection, um, blind SQL injection, uh, RFI, local file include, file uploads. We're going to be exploiting all of this. Some denial of service attacks and some attack countermeasures as well for you, for you systems administrators out there. Pay attention to that one. Wireless network security. It's not the most secure thing in the world to use a wireless protocol, but everybody does. We're going to uh, have a bit of an introduction into wireless networks and examine the different kinds of uh, cryptography used, uh, which would be standards and security solutions, as well as some Wi-Fi security threats. Breaking web encryption, really quite easy. Rogue access points and attacks, that kind of ties into man in the middle attacks a bit. Um, wireless sniffing and protecting your wireless network as well. Metasploit. Uh, Metasploit Basics, it's a fantastic tool. Uh, it's basically an, an attack framework. You can build your exploits within Metasploit and it's a fantastic bench for, for deploying, uh, well, anything really. Um, some advances in Metasploit as well. We're going to be doing some quite difficult things. And, uh, of course, practical demonstrations. Detec <laughs> detection evasion. What is evasion and why is it the most important thing? Well, basically, you don't want to get caught. Um, and also, if you are testing an intrusion um, defense system or a detection system or even a prevention system, if you can slip in and out of a system unnoticed, then you've done your best to fool them. Um, 